I loved seeing the little things that were left behind, you know, the backside of something, the broken window, the scrawl on the wall. So when you're the child of a junk man, certainly if you're a girl, I think, and you're not going to go into the junkyard business, there's something I wanted to escape about that because of all the painful things my family and I endured, but also just it wasn't the life I wanted. So I think my obsession with escapist locations and photography investigating our need to escape certainly comes out of a childhood need. But I was also looking at places that had seen better days, whether they were actually abandoned or just sort of in a state of disarray, deferred maintenance. Governor's Island, which is now this incredible park, former Coast Guard and Army base, and had been abandoned for almost a decade um, when we were invited on to photograph. Because at any given time, 3,000 people lived on the island. So they had to have basically everything that someone would want in a small town. Behind doors was one of my favorite places. I think a lot of times the cleaning people didn't look on the backs of doors. So you would find a jacket hanging there, posters, etc. There was a New York Times review of the Governor's Island series and um, there, the writer paid me sort of what I felt was like an, the ultimate compliment that my pictures got to something similar of, of what Ajay was trying to do. And everybody knows Eugène Ajay was photographing a Paris that was about to change, a Paris that was changing, a Paris that was disappearing as Hausmann came in and changed everything. 2007, 2008, I really felt like, oh, the party is over, both personally for me um, in the art world but and also with my editorial career, but for all of us in general. There is a resort that was going out of business and being sold in rural Connecticut I saw the disco ball hanging on the ceiling in their main hall and I said, what's happening with that disco ball since you're going out of business? And he said, it's yours. Looking at something in the light it's not meant to be seen under does make us take a second thought. So I'm also photographing people getting into makeup, but I love when they're half made up, but half still themselves. And I think that that does a similar kind of thing. It gives you a sense of reality mixed in with this fantasy world. I don't like horror movies. I don't like to be scared, really. I, I have a lot of anxiety, fear of dying, fear of grievous injury. I think me going into these haunted houses was like a safe way <laughs> um, to confront some of these horrible, grotesque, viscerally disgusting images, but in a very safe way. 